Hey, hello everybody. So today, with our surprise, surprise, we are making out of our maize egg boxes daffodil. I love springtime. I, I've got some spring flowers on the go here, and I thought, yes, we've got to make a daffodil. I thought it's it's so nice, and you can give this as a lovely gift or present um, to those who you love, or your little friends, or your school friends, or anything. And I've put a magnet inside of mine, so you can even just use it as a, a nice big fridge magnet, just to brighten up the place. Really, really nice. So we're going to do lots of different stages and steps here. Um, you can just stop at the first stage if you wish to, because it still looks good because it's a yellow egg carton so we don't actually need to add any paint or anything to this but we're going to use the whole of the egg carton up I'm going to make this amazing daffodil flower um, so I thought it'd be a lovely lovely thing to give to, to somebody who you love you'd really love it and if you put a little tag on it saying you know from you and a little you know kiss kiss and everything just how lovely with a little message on there as well and I show that at the end so yes I've got this old egg box here obviously lots of different colours so you can have your paints and your things like that at hand as well um, so we are going to use uh, our the main well the main things today is obviously the egg box we're going to use a glue gun some masking tape and some acrylic paint but you don't need to do it this far like I said you could just if you have a yellow egg box great it's half the battle you've, you've done nearly your little design so just follow along like this just start cutting things out so just the two bits that stick out is quite good because it looks like the sort of cup part of the the, the flower the inner part there um, so just cut them out and then we're going to cut the little bit around that just like the edge of it just to make the um oh what is it called that is going back to science class now the inner part of the flower um I was like filament and something else it's like stigma or something I can't remember now but yes <laughs> the part where busy bees go and pollinate that part of the flower making there and then the edge of that and then we're just going to cut and this is again I love doing things all nice and just messy and especially for the kids to do and enjoy because it, there's nothing worse when you feel like something's too hard or perfect or whatever it may be that you can't do that yourself so I do like to do things with a little bit of a messier edge so that you know the kids all feel great that they can join in this activity too grab an egg box and they can do exactly the same so yes don't get messy with the scissors if you are using scissors be careful you've got to get a grown-up to do that for you too and the same with the glue gun later on um we have to be safe so they get very hot so make sure that you go grown up to help there so as you see there I've just cut it just bend it just manipulate it and pop that inside and then you've got a lovely starting to get the head of the daffodil flower shape um, and you can like I said you could just stop there you could put a little pin in that you could just make that as just something you could put on your your jacket or something like that you could make that as a little gift or present um, I just think it's a really fab thing to recycle and upcycle your old um, your things and junk and rubbish and garbage or whatever you want to call it that you're going to throw away but you'd, you've made something really nice and artistic out of it so yes yeah, so next we've got the other part of the tray so we're just going to cut that in half and half and half again lengthways I want to make the long stem out of this and some more leaves with that part as well So all you've got to do with this is just roll it up. You roll it on the inside there and just, just like you, you know, it's sort of different crafts with quillin and so just really roll it tight and we're going to put them two together to make a nice stem shape. So at the minute it is just getting all your bits together. So these parts will put at the end of the flower bit as well so it can make an extra leaf this part will be an extra leaf around the stem as well so we have literally used all of this egg box it's fabulous and even the little bits that are all cut out and just messy from the the inner part you were doing we're going to use our glue gun to stick them on so don't throw them away as well so like I say keep rolling keep sticking got masking tape here yeah, some of the thing some of the time is speeded up so you're not having to watch the whole thing in real time that's it like that and then stick it together and 
So this part as well, I don't know if um, I can't find a little bit of footage on it. I also stuck on um, a magnet on the back as well. You can get it. To be fair, the magnets I've used, I haven't actually went and bought magnets. I've just used them off like old fridge magnets that I fell off and then I've thrown them away, but I've kept the magnet. So any type of strong magnet would be great and just stick that with some masking tape and put that on and then you're ready to go with that as well. So yeah, all your little bits there, you've got everything ready to go with your glue gun. So here's your glue gun, so make sure, like I said, you get somebody to help you with this back because it's hot. So each of the parts here, we're just going to get the head part and then glue all these little extra bits on to make extra leaves. You'll really enjoy this. It's um all the different little parts there and putting it all together and the whole process is really fun. So for my end process of this, I really wanted a type of like, um, oh, like a Vincent van Gogh type of, you know, the Starry Night painting thing. That type of look where it's lots of different paint and overlaps and colours. Um, so you'll see that as time goes on. And for this part as well, because we are using um, the glue to make the texture of everything as well, so the edges and the leaves and everything, you will find you go through quite a few glue sticks, so make sure you've got a lot of glue sticks at hand. But yeah, we're going to draw that into it as well, but there will be so much glue and acrylic paint on by the end of this, you probably could put this in your garden if you wanted to, it would be probably absolutely fine. Um, and even with it with it being getting weathered and things like that it probably would actually add a whole another thing to it it'll probably look really nice actually so just adding all the little extra bits on there you don't have to do this you just throw them away if you want to I thought oh no let's let's use the whole of this egg box up and uh, add all the little extra bits on as well that will come to and paint and stuff but it is quite good with the the hot glue gun because you get all that like drippy feet like thing going on and the, it's yeah it just looks really good then the same with the stem we're going to add the stem on there and any bits that seem a bit delicate or you can't completely um stick it then bring on the mask and tape the mask and tape's brilliant so i have initially tried to stick this on but i'd have to be probably waiting a, not really long but you know a little bit so i've also added mask and tape on as well just to give it that extra little bit of make it secure So just gonna add that in, just open up the edge so you can get a nice gap there and pop that in on the inside and then pop it on the other side and then add them together and put your masking tape around that as well. It'll just make that a little bit more secure. Just speeding up timing a bit for you because obviously I don't want you to be waiting long doing this. But I did want to I didn't want to cut too much out because I wanted to show you how to exactly do the whole process. So if you did want to copy this bit by bit, then sometimes you do need a little bit of the just watching how to do it than just guessing or something. Um I mean it's not hard, it's you don't want to pop popping all the bits together, aren't you? But at the same time it is nice to think how how have they just attach that or how have you attached this and when you see that then you can replicate that and do that yourself and see it's uh, it's really easy and the little ones will be able to do this as well and that's another thing as well yes I've used a glue gun but you don't need to you could just use a little bit of tape for or anything on this so you can do exactly the same so you don't need to and use whatever you want as well whatever's at hand you might not even have that you might just have a, a stapler or something like that around you use that there's nothing wrong with that and you can see already that's looking really nice with the sun the sunflower then you could do a sunflower by the way you could do any i was thinking of roses and tulips and things like that you could do all sorts of flowers um i love springtime i love this time of year coming out with the dark nights and into the oh amazing like lighter nights and you start seeing all the daffodils come up and uh lemon season and things like that i'm definitely going to take the kids to the farm to to see that hopefully soon so um yeah, I love this time of year. So my favourite is just getting some daffodils in the house. It just totally feels like springtime. I, I love it. Even though last week we had snow. A few, well, a few days ago really, hitting into last week. But yes, full on snow. <laughs> so English weather is very all over the place. 
So the part of the stem bit there, all I've done is I'm just adding it all together to make it really stable and um, just tape it all just so it's nice and fat. It's easy to hold, especially with little ends as well. If you make something too delicate, you know, you know what they're like. They rag it around, they fling it around, and before you know it, it's just a mess on the floor. <laughs> so that's that's the reason why, you know, make it nice and secure with all your bits of masking tape and masking tape again why i love it so much because you can just paint right over it and yeah it's brilliant and it just it just seems to last it's just there once you've got paint and things on it it's even more uh tough so yes yeah, just make neating everything up taking some of the glue bits off because you get the stringy bits of glue all over but even so even if you leave them on it's texture it's just i love it I, i'm really going for that that effect so any any of these moments feel free to stop and just say yeah i'm done but i'm going to take it right to the edge just to show you how far if you want to go that far you can with your paint so and you can use normal paint with this you don't have to use anything fancy i am using acrylic paints today i've just grabbed a lot of them out just because i want to do a few different colors to help with the unusual gloopy blobbly you know that type of texture um just to give it that little bit of type of van gogh look that's not a sunflower we know <laughs> but it's still a daffodil it's still lovely so not completely going for that but yeah so you can do the same and on the stem part of this if you just drag the glue gun like up and down in lines you'll make a great texture it's like a, a lined sort of texture if you do it quite quick it's um it almost looks like a bit yeah like this bit stem like so it just again just using the glue gun is actually a one of your art tools really you don't just need it to glue things together you can actually use it as well to create some great texture on things i love it for that i really do so give it a go see what you think and go around all the leafy edges and you get all that gloopiness and it looks like it just makes it look more of a real leaf actually you know just a little bit more to it rather than just straight but I love going over any of these things that I'm doing. I just want to be a little bit more unusual rather than, yeah, I could just get a piece of cardboard. There you go. Cut out a sunflower. Done. You know, put your name on, give it to someone. But I want to just do things with a little bit of edge, a little bit different, a bit quirky. Something possibly as a keepsake. Some things maybe you can keep um, and preserve. And, and, and yeah, and especially if you pass that on as a gift as well. I, I, trying to incorporate that way and the same with the character things as well so all the practical things but in the style of something of like our favorite tv people or characters i am i'm trying to do so just because kids love that kids love it the you know baymax or whoever or love monster or cbb's or netflix or whatever it may be so yeah we'll do lots more things like that we've got um, comic relief coming up this friday so yeah, a few things on that and it's really good one this year for 2023 because it's um with, with the merch the merch side of it it's always like something a bit different or you know i like the one the other year back as well which is quentin blake all our illustrations i remember buying a few of them bags but this time it's all the mr men little miss things their merch so we, i did get some jumpers and some t-shirts with the kids and stuff we went to tk max and got a few so yeah if you you know definitely all everything helps you know give back give a little and you know the same with the school doing some things with them too so yeah lots of ways so this is it the paint inside it is literally just getting in there acrylic paint straight in straight in with the yellow first obviously and the green for the stem and just just cover it everywhere just yeah just taking you through it bit by bit in the real time so you can see how it looks but obviously some parts of i have um sped up as well just to be you know so you're not watching too much of that but it gives you an idea of how things will look but it doesn't have it really just like change it completely again which is just a, a nice another unusual thing too so there's no particular place I get my acrylics from. I get them wherever there's a deal, <laughs> to be honest, or where there's a bargain, or something like that. But my favourites are, I love crafty places. So I love like hobby crafting. I love WH Smiths and I love uh, the works and these are in England like. But um, I love places like that. And even certain garden centres as well do amazing things. So I carry on with the painting. 
and then there's some if you if you have got a bunch of acrylic paints you'll find some unusual yellows as well so that was a glimpse of just some ikea paint i could have just basic yellow and green dead easy you can do that as well but i thought i'd go a bit more just a little bit more detail that's all down the acrylic route and it's great if you need to add a little bit of water on some of the parts where it's a bit uh, of the egg box where it soaks in a lot just add, add a little bit and it'll just stop that happening and then you can add a few little bits on top of that later but yeah getting all the little crevices and all over the place and just have fun at this part you know this what I do love about this especially this process here how relaxed it is if you I mean some people it's not my husband's like that he if he was he'd have to be made to do anything creative he's, it's not his bag at all he's um he's the opposite he's, he's good at them all enjoys the numbers and all that side <laughs> well I don't enjoy that but I enjoy the art but for the people who are, do have that creative edge to them and they enjoy this this type of process here is so relaxing it really is it's very therapeutic it's very you're just in your little thing you've got your music and I always have to have music and I was like, even if it's just the radio in the background I love it and I just feel so chilled out and so you know it can things can go anywhere as well it doesn't have to be straight it doesn't have to be a perfect way either and this is what I love just go mad blob it on the green here just yeah quick 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 no messing just, and this is what's quite good about things that involve really with the glue gun or the masking tape or things like that because the, yes it's got that messy messy look to it and stuff like that but actually that's what makes it quirky that's what makes it really arty and unusual I love it absolutely love it man really really nice um it's just unusual because you, you don't see it you don't see it about you don't there's lots of art and crafts things there's lots of things to get but let's be a bit different man Let, let's let's just turn up a notch but at the same time still achievable for everybody so yeah so just moving on to the next part so this is where you can start adding in a few of the different colors so if you want a bit oranges or darker greens or even just vibrant do a different a bit of red but if I've, I've added that you can start changing all them up and it'll just it will give you that especially if you add on some highlights a little bit of white and things like that you'll start getting a like that very laid look Don't be afraid to get messy with this as well, of course. Put your apron on and your things to protect yourself, but enjoy the process. So just coming to the edge now. And you don't have to be mega expensive with the things you get as well. Even if you just buy the cheapest, cheapest, of things paints acrylics pens whatever it may be i know i'm obsessed with these posca pens at the minute but they use other different brands as well whether it's just like paint pens paint the pen they use different ones that can be cheaper so just just try all different things and there we go love that love it and obviously let it dry and then we can add some additional uh things on there as well like with the different yellows or oranges so this is where I had in my head a bit of a you know your Van Gogh look to it just that very laid look but with the texture behind being all gloopy and blobby, like blobby type of thing going on 
um, you've got lots and lots going on, which, which I think is great. So a couple of highlights with bits of white and things, and it just, just gives it that little bit of an edge. But like I said, you don't need to go that far. You could have stopped just at the egg carton and give that as a little gift and a present, and your loved ones would be absolutely pulled over by that. I know when I get even just a little tiny bit of scrap of the paper with a little note on saying love you mom or whatever, it just melts my heart. It really, really does. So definitely a nice little, you know, spring flower with a little note attached, a little bit of string would absolutely make, oh man, one of your family or friends are there, you know, from, from the little one as well. They've made that and, and they'd get so much joy, you know, saying that they've made it out of the egg box carton as well uh, and yeah and you've you've done your good bit your little bit for recycling as well which is great so if you need to start adding, adding any more little bits of detail on now just the last little bits there then add them on here. So it's just, and if you watch, see just going around the edges, if you did want that little bit more detail, just showing you how to do that. If you wanted to, to do that, you don't have to, you could stop there. But if you want to add a little bit more and just look at where the shadows and the light would maybe fall or be hidden. So if it's a sunny day, you can see that you have to hold it up and then you can emphasize that a little bit more where you can see the light and shadow, you can just add a bit more add a few lighter colours in the light parts and darker colours in the darker parts and it just gives it even more texture definition and everything else so go for it and also with some of the paints I've made it towards the end because it'll dry <coughs> excuse me it'll dry really hard and like obviously even if it's gloopy already but it'll dry like that because it's acrylic but you can make it like really like blob it on and just obviously let that properly dry but that really adds some fantastic extra little bits. So yes, you've got them gloopy details with the glue gun, but then adding that with the acrylic on top of that, you've got even more detail and a little bit more vibe. So that is just an extra little bit if you wish to do that. But if you're trying to save on your paints and not use them up too much, then of course, don't bother with that part because it can use a, a good amount of your paint up if you, if you really pour it on thick and just let it dry like that but I love that because it just adds texture and vibe and so I love it so just a little bit more on the inner bit and tiny little details to go and make sure you put your protective stuff down as well your tray or whatever it may be um, because before you you know what you've got acrylic paint all over the shop <laughs> it's once you start getting involved I love it it's the minute you start and have a load of different brushes as well and your brushes don't need to be expensive you literally buy a you know, big pack of them for a the pound dead easy so don't feel you've got to go mad with that either and you can just do different colors and even if you wanted to really vibe this up and do completely opposite colors to what the actual flower looks like instead of being yellow and green then go for it if you want some you know wacky vibrant you know different colors going on or opposites or the color wheel or rainbow colors or I don't know, or even then texture like dots and things like that that would I know that would definitely jazz up as well that'd be another way and then even if you want to stick things to this as well so you if you've got some want to stick some tissue paper on to give it colour or you know if you if your egg boxes weren't yellow and you didn't have no paint there's there's lots of other different ways you can do that or even just colour it in get your felt tips out and colour in that would still be an absolute lovely gift for anybody so there's a magnet hidden in the back of there and with the mask and tape and you'll see that when we stick it on the fridge because it makes a great fridge magnet these tiny last little bits of detail but like I said this is this is just pushing it to the max with the detail if you wanted to do this you do not need to go anywhere near this amount of detail this is just the tiny last little bits now If 
you have a, um, a TK Maxx near you as well, sometimes T. I can't know what it's called in America now, I mean, TJ, TJ, some, some are different Max. But um, they're great for things like art supplies, fantastic. I get a lot of my paints and things like that from there. They're just, oh, they're brilliant. And they're all, in, a lot of them are really all a good makes as well, you know, they can get some really good deals there. I, I love TK for things like that and housey stuff and all my little things with a compartment or something, I love all that. <laughs> so yeah, definitely put them all in a little tray or stash you've got and then you can just take that to and forward. So that little tray I've got, I just put that, slide that back in my little drawer. A tiny, tiny last bit of detail. It is quite good if you are, if you are actually following along as well. It's quite handy because it gives you time to, yeah, you know, get a couple out back the paints out, copy the detail, and then you've, you know, you've got it to, if you like the end result, you've got it to that same, that same result, which is great. You have to be a little bit careful with the glue gun side as well. So as you see the middle part of that, um, the daffodil, it was sticking out quite a lot, which is good, that, that cup part of it. But, Obviously the glue gun melts everything, doesn't it? So it can all of a sudden start to cave in. So that's caved in a little bit towards the middle. So if you want that sticking out a little bit more, then make sure uh, if you if you do use a glue gun, if you do, then just watch it that it doesn't, cause it's an, an egg box obviously and it's melting everything. It just um, like merges it all together type of thing. So it adds a little bit there. It still looks really good and really quirky to be fair. It looks like, you know, you've done some unusual sculpture to be honest. So I, I'm loving it, I'm loving the look. But if you did want that a bit more pronounced, then at the glue gun part, watch how everything sticks together because it can sort of start getting a bit mishmash because it's, it's the egg carton material. Hey, 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 yes, we are just about here now. So these last little bit of fine bits and yeah, really, really, really good with how that's looking now. And um, and even just for yourself, you know, even if you don't want to give it away, even if it's just something to look at with the, all your different little art projects, you know, you could have around your room, you could put this on your pin board, if you've got one, um, up in your room with along with other things, if you've got the other things you followed along with, you know, little pen pots and other stuff and be proud you've made that yourself and, and nobody else will have that. I guarantee you that nobody will have that. And the same with the other stuff with those little pen toppers or little secret sweetie stash boxes or you know, pencil holders, pen holders, all these little different things, they won't have that. Fantastic. Really, really good. Be proud of your little arty achievement there it's great so remember to let that dry before you start sticking it in things and also because it's so stable and so robust now like i said you probably could put that outside if you wanted to somewhere and if you didn't want to do that but you wanted to put it on display somewhere else if you just put it inside like a little mini vase a little mini pot then you've got that standing up So if you wanted to write a little message, this would be a really nice time. And all you need is just a little bit of paper, a bit of card, and a little bit of string. You can pop that round your little flower, and then you can go and give that to somebody who you love. They would absolutely treasure this, they really would. You'll love this. So I hope you've enjoyed. Follow along with more. We'll be I'll be back soon at Kimberly Vickers Kids Art Attack and over at my art channel, do some daffodils as well in a different way. And yes, I know I'm a tropic as well, which is on that, that side too. Here we go. I love this, hope you enjoyed. Okay, see you soon. 
and don't forget it would be lovely to give us a like and a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will be back soon with more lovely things for the children and also my my art as well take care bye